Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. This music just got louder. Sorry about that. Um, let's see, options. So this is Spirit T. Um, enter. Music volume. That's better. We'll leave that for now. We don't know what the rest are. Okay, this is really quiet. Press K to progress the text. This will also be your interact button. Okay. Welcome. What stop will you be getting off at? Enter. I gotta come up with a town name? Okay, that's a, a little annoying. Sorry about that. Turn this volume down again. Um. The name of the town. We'll go with... Um, I'm not sure if I'm spelling this correctly, but it's the name of a planet in, uh, Star Fox. Catania, huh? This bus indeed stops there, but you're in for a long ride. You best get comfortable. Oh, we got customization. Oh, let's do... This sound effect is really something else. Okay, we can only pick shaggy or long. Sweater color. Ant color. Face. Occupation fantasy author. I don't know what that is. I guess we'll go with that. My name is Cat. Make way for Cat. All right, then take a seat and let's everybody get on the bus. Miko. Ah, you must be Cat. I'm glad you made it in one piece. 
I suppose proper introductions are in order. My name is Miko. I believe we spoke on the phone the other day. Welcome to Catania. It's really quite lovely here. I do hope you'll enjoy the time you spend here. We received all of your luggage earlier today. I had my husband Quill help me get it safely to the house you'll be staying in. I'm afraid I may have sullied his first impression of you, as I had him carry the heavy things. Oh, ho, ho. Speaking of, let me quit yapping and show you to your home. This way, please. Okay, so she's just taking me. I don't have any control yet. Well, what do you think? Looks nice. I'm just teasing you. This is my home. Just remember the red roof if you ever need to see either myself or Quill. This here is my husband's bicycle shop. You might find it convenient to have a bicycle if you ever want to explore the nearby area. At the very least, a little exercise does the body some good. As you can see, this is pretty much the extent of our downtown here in Catania. I'm sure it's nothing like the big city you've just come from, but we've got everything we need. There's a restaurant if you're tired of cooking at home, a karaoke bar, a chicken restaurant, coffee shop, and Kenzo runs a convenience store a little ways southeast of here. I could talk your ear off all about the residents here and how kind they all are, but Quill did warn me that you've had a long trip and to um, keep your yapping to a minimum and let the newbies sleep. So let's get you home. I really like this Japanese aesthetic. Very cool. Oh, this place is huge. And here we are. I do hope it meets all of your needs. The pictures I posted online were taken just last week, so it should all be accurate. Oh, one thing you might find different is that we tend to leave our doors unlocked. We don't usually have any crime here, though there have been strange occurrences lately. And well, there aren't many of us living in town. What I'm trying and failing to say is that Catania is very safe and that I sincerely hope you enjoy this slice of the countryside. Feel free to visit your neighbors where and whenever you please. I know they'll be happy to get to know you. Then I'll leave you to it. I'll set up your futon, or I set up your futon this morning and you should have everything you need. I saw you had an old teapot in the cupboard. Maybe tomorrow you could introduce yourself to Tifa. She's a lovely girl who works over at the field a little southeast of your home. Okay, I'm leaving now because I can tell I've nattered on for too long. Good night. Oh, this is nice. Oh, cool. We can go. Is this the bathroom? Cool. That must be a tub. Yeah. Let's enter the bath. Ooh. So it doesn't either. It's the first day. You want to leave the bath. Yes. Computer desk. It's been a long day. Interact with the bed to go to sleep. The game saved every time you sleep. Oh, look at this quaint little kitchen. Okay, it's not going to let me explore much. Okay, okay. I'm going, I'm going. You want to add tea leaves to the teapot? No, not right now. I don't think I have any. Yes. Buy some fresh tea leaves from Tifa. Southeast of your home. Okay, let's... I don't have control of a mouse. How do I get... Continue. My backpack, I for inventory. I only have a couple of things. Swapped notebook. That's it. Notebook and bag. Oh, okay. Spirits, continue. Map. Oh, wow. 
This map is very active. Okay, so I live right there in the center. Sp Spirituality. Collections. Ooh. Cool. Friendships. Oh, look at the bear just switches. Here's the people. Oh, Maru. Radish. Uh, yes, please. Options. Okay. Main menu. Continue. I was hoping there'd be a place to hide the quests, but... Oh! Can I put it in my bag? Oh, no, I put it down. No, come here. Well, I guess I have a crab now. Okay, okay, I'll put you down. Oh, that's like a food cart. Uh, can I get off of this? Okay. Ready? Ha! Ah. Oh, I can have that, though? Can I consume butterfruit? No. Can I put it in my bag? Oh, there we go. You. You put it in your bag. Southeast. So I need to go this way. Oh, okay. Okay, M does not bring up the map. I feel like it should. Shrine? Leave an offering. I don't have any money. Is this... Tifa? I work at the local tea fields here in town. It's nothing glamorous, but I don't think I could work a typical desk job. No offense, of course. Here, let me give you a sample of tea leaves I grow in town. Do I usually keep leaves in my pocket? Absolutely. You got the fresh tea leaves. Any object can be picked up and carried and dropped. Oh, now it's gonna tell me. Use the K button when facing an object to pick it up. Press it again to put it down. If an item can be eaten, used, or has some sort of function, you can perform this action by pressing J. Yep, and here we go. If you have space in your backpack, you can store carried objects by pressing the U button. That in my bag. If the music went away. Oh. Uh. I don't know if I should steal that. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. We can just pick up and move buckets. Or baskets, probably. Place the tea leaves in the teapot by facing the teapot and interacting with it while holding the tea leaves, okay? So I, then switch to, no, I. Yes. Seems to be heating up supernaturally. Drink the spirit tea. You drank the spirit tea. I say, like, what's weird is gonna happen? Stupid feeble creatures, so selfish. Leaving 
Oh. Wait, can you see me? You can, can't you? This... This is... I'm supposed to be guiding... Ah! <gasps> Get! How long was I... I can't believe that I even became lost. May, you'd never let me live this one down. Wanyan. Wait, who the heck are you? I'm Cat. We've got problems. We? Yes, we. You live here now, don't you? This town is crawling with troublemaking spirits. That's why they're called lost, because humans have stopped worshipping, leaving offerings or even thinking about them. Fortunately, I'm not as weak as those other fools, though I nearly lost control. Anyway, you can call me Wanyan, and since you appear to be somewhat spiritual, you're going to help me get things under control around here. Yeah. If you didn't know, the Japanese word for meow is nyan. Oh, uh, what's with that look? You didn't come here to mess about with spirits. I get it. You mortals live short lives and fill each day with things that bring you happiness. The truth is, ah, uh, no. We need you. Damn it, are you really gonna make me beg? There are already so many lost spirits who don't even remember who they were. They need your help. You'd be like a hero to them. You mortals like being called heroes, don't you? Fine. I need you to see something. Let's head up the mountain. Look for the stairs at the eastern part of town. Okay, and now the music died again. So I am under the influence of tea. Hey! Julian. Who are you supposed to be? Me? I'm Julian. What's it to you? Oh, oh okay. There's no one here. This is really cool looking. Oh, there's a bathroom. Look at that. Oh, here's the karaoke bar. Super realistic with the bathrooms and the broom closets. I enjoy that. Moby, you look like you could use a coffee. Lucky for you, there's a coffee shop in town. I'm Moby. Here's the bike shop. This must be... Quill. Ah, so you're the one Miko was talking about. Hmm. Welcome and all that. Coffee. Although I just had some tea. Oh, look at that wall of mugs. Oh, where'd I pick up? I'm gonna call this game Klepto, because I have no idea. I'm just picking stuff up. I don't even know what it is, but it's in my bag now. It looks like a board game, right? I think some coffee shops do that, where they out board games. I have no idea what it is. Can't put it down. I don't want to fill my inventory up. We'll just put that back. Look at the little boat. Oh, okay. I can go on the boat. Someone lives here. A whale statue? Apartment building? Ah, <gasps> cat! Oh, yeah, there's people over there.
The like, Gundam poster? That's neat. Eric. Hey, you just moved into that place by the water. Oh, I'm Eric. Gail. Hey, I'm Gail. I work at the karaoke bar in town. No one's in these. This one's cool. Like a toaster. Let me try the elevator. Cool. Kenzo, new to town, huh? I'm Kenzo. I work at the only convenience store in town. I'm sure I'll see you during your snack runs. Open the drink fridge. Okay. Oh. He must live here. I'm impressed with all these bathrooms. Okay. Oh, someone's out for a jog. Sujin. Oh, hey, I'm Sujin. You must be the newbie in town. Oh, someone over there, too, but they're running fast. Do I have a sprint? No, I don't. At least it's not shift. Oh, she's getting her coffee. <gasps> Okay, they went in here. Oh, someone's back here. I think I met this person. Julian, yeah. I've tried to quit smoking so many times. In the end, I just accepted that I need at least a few vices. Maybe the person went upstairs. There they are. Jillian. Are you new around here? I don't think I've met you before. My name's Jillian. Pleased to meet you. So Jillian and Julian. Oof. Hey, and you? I don't think I've met. Sora. Oh, uh, you must be the new person in town. I'm uh, Sora. Pleased to meet you. Okay, so I guess we'll head toward the mountain now. Just quite fascinated by these buildings. Wait. Okay. It's weird the music just kicks up whenever it wants to. Wow. There is a lab here. Whose house is this? This is, um, Miko's house. Miko and Quill. Okay. Very quaint. Let's actually figure out how to get to the garden. Or garden, the mountain here. We just gotta go over just a little bit more. Oh, you're new. Faye, you must be Cat. I'm Faye, the local carpenter, blacksmith, all around her.
Send them out, and there should be stairs to the east side of town. That's where we are. Okay, something's happening. Oh, a shrine. Or temple? It's huge. Oh, wow, it's in disarray. This is, well, used to be a bathhouse for spirits. They would come from far and wide to enjoy the purifying waters of the mountain. Spiritual people such as yourself used to look after the spirits and run the bathhouse. But it's not all for charity. The spirits would in turn offer some of the wealth they receive from their shrines throughout the world. But as you can see, the bathhouse has been abandoned. The last bathhouse keeper was a spunky girl. In fact, she used to live in the house you've just moved into. But I don't know how long she's been gone. The spirits need you to become the next keeper of the bathhouse. Otherwise, they'll become more and more lost and cause more and more havoc to the people of Catania. Why me? Don't kid yourself. I didn't have- it didn't have to be you. Anyone with a lick of spirituality would have done. But you did come, and you can help everyone, spirits and people alike. So you're in then. Good. Glad we're all on the same team. Then if we're meaning to get this place up and running, we'll need to first open her up. If I'm not mistaken, I left the key with a spirit who has a fondness for sweets. Find the spirit and we'll find the key. The whether or not you'll be able to see the spirit is questionable, but we can deal with that later. For now, let's head to a place with a lot of sweet foods. I'm thinking the cafe. We met him already. <clears throat> oh, can I take these crabs now that I know how to... Yes! Let's see if they take up one spot or two. Two. Oh, can I kick this? I can steal it. That's okay. Okay. If there's anything else I can pick up. Oh, here's a shop here. Or convenience store might also work as well. Song, you must be the new kid in town. I'm Song, and this little monster here is Momo. Yari. Hey, I don't remember meeting you before. I'm Yari. Come to town every I come to town every summer. Lee. Who is this free spirit wandering into our little town? Cat is it? Then I'll be Lee. Oh. Maybe we'll get a bug net or something? Nope, I guess it's not going to be here. Have I met you? Tara. Oh, who is this beautiful beast I see? I'm Tara. I live at the pension down by the southeastern beach. And this is Moby. Yep. Is there an owl in here? Neat. Okay, so that wasn't right. Let's go to the convenience store if I can remember where that was. Okay, it's not there. Oh, uh, let's take a look at the map. Bike shop, karaoke bar.
Here it is. Hmm, this place looks promising. Try using your spirit vision now. The ancient teapot in your house infuses regular tea with spiritual properties. Use enter to peer into the spiritual realm. Hey, not bad, mortal. You seem to be figuring it out pretty quickly. Nyahem. Now then, let's find the spirit. There's two here. No, no, that one. I haven't tried the one with the caramel yet. Oh, that one is so good. Hey, check out this mortal. They almost look like they're watching. I knew I'd be able to find you if I th thought with my stomach like you always do. It's the fuzz. Let's cheese it. What in the world? Don't just stand there. Catch them. I'll use what little power I have to help you keep your spirit vision active so you can see them. Normally, using spirit vision causes your spirit gauge on the right to gradually decrease. However, in this case, Wanyan is helping you by preventing the gauge from de depleting. Under normal circumstances, drinking spirit tea, tea made in the old teapot, and sleeping will replenish the spirit gauge. Okay. Uh, try running to catch the spirit. If you're not holding anything, you can run by holding down J. Okay. Catch the spirit by interacting with it once you're close enough. There's the run. Oh, I have to hold down J. I corner it. Oh, you sneaky. I'm catching up. Oh. What are you doing, you lunatics? We just want to talk. Oh. You better hope we don't catch you now. You've gone and pissed me off. Fun time's over, clown car. Revert back now. What is wrong with you two? What? Who? Wan Yan? And which of you peanut brains has the key to the bathhouse? Key. The key. I remember. Wan Yan and a key. One of you better start talking. What is this? have the key. I remember now. I'm called Fotherog. And I was known as Aurum. Wan Yan. Oh, I'm so sorry. I failed you, my lord. It seems I forgot who I was, but I never forgot your task. Um, I have kept the key safe all these years. Here, you must be the new keeper of the baths. You got the bathhouse key. What? Why were you holding it up like that? Can't everyone act normal for a moment, please? <laughs> As for you two, this mortal here named Cat, correct? Has agreed to get the bath house up and running again. I expect to see much of your and your kind there regularly. Yes, of course, Wanyan, sir. We'll be there. With friends. With friends, of course. Gods be damned, those fools gave us the runaround, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> Well, whatever you're ready, let's head to the bathhouse on the mountain and see what condition she's in. All right, and that's where we're going to end this episode. When we come back, we'll check out the bathhouse. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Did I catch a frog? No. Or did I? Nope, okay. Anyway, see you then.